So a little update on the uh, aquaponics system by request. Um, things that have been growing, things we've grown. We uh, had a nice trough full of uh, lettuce and um, had really good success with some basil plants. We had way more basil than we needed, more than we could use. Um, we've cleared all the basil out, we've take, pulled all that out. We've harvested all our lettuce and ate it all. And um, we're not really good at keeping up on the seeding. <laughs> so we're back to immature plants and, and sprouts again. So um, what we have, well we do have some chard. We have some really nice chard that we've been uh, using, we've been eating off of. This is rainbow chard. we got the red in the back that's really nice and healthy. We had a little bit of a bug or a caterpillar problem. I found one inside one of the net pots here. Chewing away at it, so he, uh, he, he paid the ultimate price when I found him. So <laughs> he's gone. Over here I'm experimenting with planting um, the net pots with the seeds directly into the system. So I just I seeded them in the cups and put them right in there to see what would happen. And these things have all, we've, we've gotten some coming up. These are flowers in the back and some things at the front. There's some small ones coming here, so that seems to be working out. Over here we have a new crop of lettuce going. So this, this the whole trough was seeded and then sprouted in the, in the sprout on the table. And once the sprouts were about about this big, they went into the system. Once I saw visible roots on the bottoms, they went into the system. And this is probably um, a week or so, what you say? Mm, two weeks. Maybe two weeks old. Right. Coming along great. They seem to reach a certain point and then just explode and just grow really rapidly. Uh, our water temperature has been down between uh, 60 and 70 degrees as opposed to in the summer when we were running 80 to 90 degrees or 90 plus. Or I took readings as high as 93, 94 degrees water. So we're noticing different things about the system, how it's affecting the plant growth. Supposedly the cooler water is supposed to do better for the leafy vegetable things. Um, over here this is kind of another hodgepodge trough of just trials, uh, snow peas that didn't really produce a lot. Tomato plants that never flowered. I think uh, from what I've heard about tomato plants is that they're not going to flower or go to seed when they've got all the nutrients they got. So they're living in a nutrient-rich environment. There's no need for them to reproduce. So that could be the reason why we're not getting any tomatoes. This is a pepper plant which has got a couple of flowers on it, but I'm not really impressed with anything going on over here, uh, except for the this rapini that grew really well, but we just didn't really have a desire to eat it. <laughs> so it was more of an experiment. It uh, actually went to seed and flowered, bolted here, so, you know, that's Got a nice big stem on it, so. But yeah, this trough's gonna be cleaned out. Uh, tried beets. I knew the cups were small. Wanted to see how they grew. I heard that they grew on top of the cup, and they do. So this beet really needs to come out of here. It needs to be juiced or eaten. So. You know, if, for the size of the cup that we used, that's, I can really get an extremely large beat out of it, but it works, and that was what we were going for, to see what grows, what doesn't grow. And, uh, cucumbers, their roots their peak, they're, uh, they're probably ready to come out. We 
had a great crop going. Got some good cucumbers off of that. Um, the pickling cucumbers. Goldfish still holding out. Not really getting that big. Chewing on my hand. Um, the bluegill. There. Two to three times bigger than the goldfish in there. It just really doing really well. <laughs> really doing really well. So it's time to start growing some more uh, leafy things. I think we're gonna keep trial and error, tri trying new things. I think we'll, we need to get some spinach going. So um, that's where we stand right now. Uh, we got the other dome covered. Doors going up, and uh, we're gonna put our gravel bed in there. And uh, so that's where we're at right now, and uh, we'll keep you posted.